Hello and welcome to Around the House with Kay and Tom and today we're going to be doing something strange. We're going to be cooking actually some egg bits in this egg bit tray here besides everything else. You, you cook all kinds of things that little egg bit, bit tray or egg bite tray or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, today we're going to do the uh, eggs here. I'm going to put three eggs. I'm going to put some of these Rotel tomatoes. And we'll use cheddar jack cheese, and I've got a, uh, let's see if I can get where you can see it better. I've got a piece of uh, Jimmy Dean sausage that we had left over, a patty that I'm going to use, and I've got this piece of ham cut up, so we're just going to sort of do different ones for different things. So anyway, let's get started with it. Oh, and I'll be using a little bit of splash of milk. I just hadn't set it out yet, so now let's get started. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is put these three eggs in this uh, bowl here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put these eggs right down in this uh, in this uh, little canister thing here that I don't know what you call it that came with this uh, Quiznart Smart Stick. And I went along and measured a while ago, just so you know. And this thing, each one of these things will take a total of uh, 16 ounces. So I know there's no use to fill my cup more than 16 ounces unless I'm going to make a couple of different cooks. But I'm only going to do one today, so that's all. I'm just going to fill it up one time and be done with it. So now I'll put me some of these Rotel tomatoes down in there. See my problem is I love all this stuff so good I want to just put more and more of it in there. But anyway, that would be all the Rotel tomatoes I put in it for this time. Now I sprayed each one of these little uh, openings here with uh, some Pam. And so I'll I'd like to get them out when they're finished. So now I'm going to take some uh, sausage and just drop down in here. And I'll put it in about four of them. Like that. Now I'm going to take ham and put in the other three. Now we'll take some of this cheddar jack cheese and put down in here. If I can get the bag open. Now let's put just a little bit more cheese in that bag. This is not really a measured amount, so you just have to look and see about what I'm doing if you want to duplicate this. I want to put some milk in it. And now we'll see how many ounces I've got in it so far. Okay, I'm going to put just a little bit more cheese in it. Now I'll tell you, I'm going to uh, account for what I put what I put in the bottom of these holes over here so I'm, I'm going to go put about 14 ounces of uh, mixture in this cup here like that add just a little bit more Rotel tomatoes like that now I've got 14 ounces of mixture here. Now I'm going to take this Quiznark Smart Stick here and mix it up. Now I'm not going to puree it, but I want it to chop and cut up a little bit. Yeah. That's pretty good right there. Get everything off of it. 
I'll tell you right now, I went for years and years without one of those things. And now I don't know if I'm going to be without one at all. Because you just use it for so many more things than I ever thought I'd use it for. And it's easy cleanup, you just take it apart like that and rinse off that part. But anyway, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little wire rack or trivet, whatever you want to call it, that came with the Ninja Foodie here, <clears throat> and I'm going to set this egg bite tray right on top of it there because this is flexible, you know, and after you get it full, it makes it a little tough to uh, handle sometimes. Now we're going to start pouring our mixture in. Like that. Oh, could have used another half ounce of mixture there, but anyway, that's pretty close. Now, all right. Now, next thing I want to do is put about a cup and a half of water down the Ninja Foodie here. And then I'm going to try to set this little rack right down in on it, like that. And now, Next thing we're going to do is get out the pressure lid like this and make sure your valve is turned to seal and not vent. Make sure you turn it to seal. Go down here and line up your arrows in the front so it'll turn, turn it clockwise until it stops. Okay, and now we want to turn on the power. And we want to hit the pressure button and we're going to leave it on high and on our time over here we're going to bring it down to eight minutes just like that okay and then you go hit the start button okay now you can see the little lights chasing each other around now that's going to do that for about seven or eight minutes before it builds up enough pressure to completely seal it and then it'll start counting down to eight minutes and so we'll be back in a second to take a look at it. While you got a second, while you're waiting for the eight minutes, if you can, join my channel and give us a thumbs up. If you can, we sure would appreciate it. <clears throat> and thank you very much for all you people that watches our videos. Watch them, watch them, watch them. <laughs> well, these lots are chasing each other around. I've uh, it's been a while since I've done it. I want to go over these uh, function lights here on the Ninja Foodie with you. You've got your uh, now when you've got your pressure lid on, <clears throat> you can use pressure, steam, or slow cooker. And then when you uh, have the, this lid on, the, the well, I know you can't see where I'm pointing because I got it down there, but anyway, this other lid here, when you shut that down, that's your for your air crisp. And you got your air crisp and bake roast and broil. Okay, and then you can sear and saute with just without the lid on. Matter of fact, if you shut it, it stops. And then you got your dehydrate button here, and I've never tried that before, but I'm sure a lot of people have. And then after that, after it quits uh, chasing each other around, now I want to let these uh, slow release for about five minutes. And after it after it finishes with the eight minute cook. This light here will come on, so it's keep warm, and this clock will start counting up. Then it'll show you when you get up to five minutes, so you'll know when you've let it sit there and uh, natural release for five minutes without having to time it. So I know most of you know all that, and then of course you got your temp button over here, and then your time button over there. It won't go any higher than 400 degrees. So the sort of this one I got what I. When you buy a new one, it says 400. It's got a picture out of it, don't it? That says 450 degrees. It won't go to 450 degrees, folks. It won't go to but 400 unless they've changed it just recently. But the last one I bought had uh, 
the picture had 450 on it, it'll just go to 400, which is fine. I mean, that's okay. I mean, I do everything I want to with it, but I don't know why they do that. <laughs> Okay, I start, it's getting ready to pop this little red button up here. You, I can see a little bit, I know you can't see it probably with the camera, but you can see just a little bit of steam coming up out of it. And that uh, you hear just a little bit of noise where it's escaping. And if you do that, you don't want to, don't do that very much. Because if you do, you go burn your hand because it's getting hot coming up out of the little hole there. Which means that little button's fixing to come up. And there it went. Now it's locked in. You don't turn that. You don't turn that top now, and don't even try. I mean, it'd, it'd really be dangerous and hazardous to see if you did twist it off. I mean, you wouldn't want to do it. But anyway, you get back over here. And as you can see, the little lights are still chasing each other around. That's just a normal thing for this. It'll do it for another minute or so, and then it'll start counting down the minutes. And there it goes. Now you're counting down from your eight minutes down. And so we'll be back in about seven and a half minutes. Okay, now we're down to 10 seconds here, and we're going to see in a minute what happens. It should be stopping in a second. Okay, now it goes to zero, and then it says done. And then it goes to starts counting up, like I said. And see the little, I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but a little uh, keep warm indicator light come on here. <clears throat> and so it's going to count up. Now we're going to watch it count up to five minutes. And by the way, anything you see on my videos, most of the time I'll have a link down below where you can get one of them at. And thank you very much all you people that has ordered stuff off my links. That helps us out a lot. We sure appreciate it. Okay, now we're down to almost five minutes here, so I'm getting ready to do the quick release on it. <clears> there <throat> shouldn't be a whole lot left in there, but we'll see. And most of the time when I hit that button, you can't hear anything I say, so I won't be talking. <laughs> And it took about another minute or a minute and a half for it to, for the red button to drop. And so now, now this is one of those things, like most things that I make uh, videos on, I've never tried before. So this is going to be as big a surprise to me when I open this lid as it is to you. So let's see what's down in here. <laughs> First of all, make sure you turn this lid away from your face when you open it up because it will burn you if you don't. Oh, boy, now they look pretty good. Now, let me see, get back over here. We'll see if we can't get them out of here. And I'm going to put them right here on the, I'm going to set the whole trivet down here on this paper plate for a second. I'm going to attempt to and raise it up just like this. Set it down just like that. Now, moving right along. Okay, now I'm going to tell you this little wire rack here is hot. So use caution when you touch it. Now I'll bring this other plate over here. And it looks like it might be just a little bit wet. So I'm going to take a couple paper towels and put in this paper plate. I'm going to spread these apart. Without burning myself, I hope. Let's see. Yeah. It's almost cool enough to touch. I'll put that right over top of it like that. And then just flip it upside down, just like that. I hope you can see all that because I couldn't look at the camera to see. Ouch. Well, let me get my little mitt back on here. Alright, 
just about every one of them came out all right. Now we've got two, two, those two right there. This one, that one, sort of a little crumbly, but hey, they still look good. Let me get me a fork so I can try. Well, they sure are pretty, aren't they? Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll get me a spoon and transfer them to another plate. I'll be back in a second. Okay, now I'm going to eat this one that's uh, that come apart, sort of, so to speak. That is really, really good. It almost has a uh, custard texture to it, if you know what I'm talking about. And this one here is one that wasn't quite full, and so I just took extra ham, or yeah, ham and uh, sausage and stuff down in there. So I'm going to eat that one after I eat this one. And I'll probably save the rest and let Kay at least look at them before I hate the rest of them. <laughs> but they're really, really good. And so if you get a chance to try these sometimes, each one of these little uh, egg bit or egg bite or whatever they call it, trays here from Amazon and and give it a try and I think you'll really like these and I know the kids would like them and so I'll be cooking some more stuff in that thing later on so until then hope y'all have a real good and safe day if you can give me a thumbs up and join my channel and thank you again for watching our videos goodbye now